Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to this week's How To Tuesday. Um, I am going to jump right in and say I feel like making a super moody piece today. It's been an interesting month slash year. <laughs> so um, my moody piece is going to be uh, basically neutral colors. I grabbed my water or my Caran d'Ache Neo Color uh, Water Soluble Crayons. I'm going to use just like the kind of mustardy earth tones in this. I also have, get this, I bought fan brushes off of Amazon. Uh-huh, those aren't fan brushes. <laughs> so, and I also don't really dig the long, but I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna do a lot of scrubbing, so I'll never paint with these like they're intended. So I'll just take advantage and use those. Um, I grabbed my car or my General's Charcoal Extra Soft and Soft, which is 4B and 6B, I believe. 4B and 6B, and then I have my White General's Charcoal Pencil. I grab my Mechanical Pencil Graph Gear 1000 0.3 to do quick sketch. And then this I got in, I want to say, actually I don't even remember. It's called Kimberly. It's a General Pencil by General Pencil Company. Um, it's a little water soluble. I'm not sure if it's intended to be water soluble, but it is. I found this, I went through a bunch of pouches this weekend for, um, like, I, you know, everybody has those pencil marker pouches, right? I have a ton of them, and I love them. I'm a bit obsessed with them, but I hadn't seen stuff in them for a while. So I went and dug digging through, and I found this, and I thought this might be kind of fun for just doodles and whatnot. So there is going to be, this is abstract. It is going to be doodles. It is going to be moody. It is going to be fabulous. Um, you do not have to do a color palette. You can make it fun and joyful and playful, and or you can dive right in with me and make it moody, too. Um, we might put some words in there. Um... I'm using 140 pound Fabriano hot press watercolor paper as my substrate, 9 by 12. And then I also have my artist pro, pro artist tape. I taped it down to the board with that. My gesso, because I plan on activating a lot of my stuff with gesso. This is going to be a scrubby, messy, moody, lots of charcoal, lots of charcoal. So I'll probably end up grabbing my um, AFMAT, my pencil sharpener, my AFMAT pencil sharpener. It has three different tip sizes. I love this thing. I've gone through so many, so many different pencil sharpeners, and for a while they work, and then they don't work, and it's so frustrating. So far, this one is held up to the game, and I can use regular pencils, my charcoal pencils, my chalk pe pastel pencils. It all works in here. So that's my new baby. I grabbed some of these. These are my Stabilo Carbothello chalk pastel pencils. I may or may not use these. Maybe a little pop of color. Maybe, but I don't know. But I have, I have them close by. As you know, I like to do. I like to work close by. Um, it's going to be a portrait. It's not going to be uh, super pretty and fabulous like my normal portraits. <laughs> Listen to me. Um, but I'm going to, you know, it'll, it'll, there'll be a face in there for sure. There'll definitely be a face in there. I'm going to grab some of my past, my new colors. Yeah, I thought that I would keep it like in oranges and, and mustards and browns. I'm going to grab a bunch of skin tones. I love these. Anybody work like obsessed with these colors? I use them outside of just face portrait skin stuff. They're just a really good neutral. Oh, oh man, that's broken. Well, let's put that back. Color. And then I'll probably grab. I'm going to grab some of the, oops, the black. What's this one? That's black. What's this one? Do I have two blacks? Do I have two blacks? Nope, that's a gray, like a dark gray. I'll grab some of those. And a white. I'll grab white just in case. You see where I'm going with this? And then I'm going to grab a couple oranges. Like the... Mm, I like, no. Yeah, this one I like. This mustardy gold color. I love this. This is dark gold. So this one... Maybe like this guy, no, maybe this guy and this guy. And there we go. I think that's my, and then the blacks, you know, from my charcoal. And that's it. I'm, I probably won't use all of those, probably not even close, but I have them if I want them. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this up and then we'll get started.
you guys you can stop where I thought I stopped and then I felt like I needed to do more so I went bonkers crazy it didn't feel deep enough for me so I went and grabbed one of my this is I think Diane Townsend or Laura I'm not sure Diane Townsend uh, soft soft form pastel and it was black and I just went in and I felt like it needed a little more push into my moodiness <laughs> Uh, she says with a giggle. I do, however, think that a couple things. I forgot that my charcoal doesn't work really great over Neo color pastel or the crayons because they're waxy, um, so it doesn't really grip. So this pencil, this one General Pencil Company Kimberly pencil 525, it's water soluble as you saw, and it worked really great over the crayon. I'm not sure. Like I said, this is the first time I've used it, so. I will try to find it if I can and link it to this um, the, the video um, and but I did however dig that when because I had so many layers of the neo colors and then the, the, then the gesso and the neo color and then the pencil and all that when I would go in digging with this it would lift and you would see the under layers of um, the, the initial layers that I had laid down with color and stuff I did I totally dug that I thought that was cool I thought that was a really cool um, effect so right there, look, when I do that, it lifts and goes back down to the initial color that I had in there. I could just keep going and going and going, you guys. I hope that you um, play. I hope that you enjoy this and have fun. Uh, it was very freeing to not really give a crap, <laughs> just to go for it and to play. And I still want to, but I have to stop. <laughs> so thanks for being here. Thanks for playing with me. Get it out, people. If you guys have some moodiness, you're frustrated, you're angry, you're sad, you're joyful, you're irritated, you're annoyed, all of the above, get it out on paper. It is very cathartic. Very, very cathartic, you guys. Definitely um, felt some stuff shift. Felt, I feel like, you know, with the holiday season and everything and all the stuff that's been going on, so much is focused on controlling, 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 controlling. And to be able to do this and just not care, you saw it, I didn't care. I just threw stuff down, painted, threw stuff down, painted. Do it. It's so nice. It's so fun. Okay, you guys, thanks for being here. I cannot wait to see what you guys do. I will see you next time. Bye.